In remote areas of developing countries, the use of ICTs can solve many challenges associated with poor infrastructure and a lack of good school facilities. But technological access is not the panacea in ICT for development. For IICD, the quality of teachers is the cornerstone of education. Their continuing professional development is fundamental to paving the way for improved learning environments and quality education. What makes an ICT program work is the willingness of the recipient, is the commitment they have. Having the capacity in the teachers is what will make it work. IICD's projects build the capacity of teachers so they can benefit from integrating ICTs in their daily work, both inside and outside the classroom. The right ICT solutions enable teachers and school staff to more efficiently manage school administration activities, to make use of the most relevant available education materials, to enrich their teaching methods, and to provide students with the right digital skill set in preparation of their future. How about saving time and resources to start with? Manual administration in schools takes time that could be better spent supervising and teaching. Thanks to our school management information systems, teachers can prepare, record and store administrative data in a simpler, faster and more accurate way. It has really saved a lot of time. We used to take two weeks after the opening of the school just to write the prepare, preparation, I mean to prepare for the, the classroom work. Writing the schemes of work, lesson plans and preparing the records of work for the class. But right now, we don't take all that time. We only take something like one hour or even 30 minutes. We are done with a whole class of maybe 50 pupils. After having acquired basic digital skills, the teacher's adoption of digital tools causes a ripple effect that quickly spreads through other areas. Teachers take the lead in exploring the power and potential of integrating ICTs into their method and practice of teaching. They start using the internet to access up-to-date information and a growing availability of online learning tools. This helps them create locally relevant content. The ICT has changed my mode of teaching because uh, I, get the, I get more interacted with the students because they can, I, I can assess more information for them. So I interact more with them and they get motivated because I bring a variety of teaching methods by using a projector, the students can assess the computer, so it motivates them and they get more interested in learning. ICTs are also a valuable complement to traditional teaching methods. Through basic and low-cost ICT setups, using laptops, whiteboards and projectors in Kenya, or multimedia tools like videos and educational games in Bolivia, lessons become more interactive. This increases the children's interest and school attendance. Furthermore, the interaction with ICTs enables students from marginalized communities to acquire digital skills comparable to those in the cities, a process that works gradually towards reducing the rural-urban digital divide. As digital skills are cherished in most jobs and improve the relevance of schooling in any area, Interacting with ICTs increases the students' chances of getting better jobs. In order to ensure the sustainability of projects located in remote and poor rural areas, it is crucial to maximize local ownership from the start. Our participatory stakeholder approach enables local stakeholders to co-design relevant ICT-enabled solutions. This begins with identifying best applicable tools and required skills for tailored trainings. To address infrastructure challenges, such as lack of broadband connectivity and electricity, IICD advises on the use of alternative solutions found in mobile internet and solar energy. Additionally, a local M&D system put in place by our partner organizations allows for needed adjustments to the project as it goes along. We had what we call the social innovation workshop, whereby we all came together, we brainstormed, and we tried to, we tried to look into various issues that affect ICT in schools. 
and after we did that, then we were able to come up with a very good project. Through IICD's work in ICT for Education, thousands of teachers in remote areas can now work more efficiently, use locally relevant materials, and have enriched their teaching methods and shared their newly acquired digital skills with their students. To learn more about IICD's projects in education, go to www.iicd.org slash our dash work slash education.